Hi guys, welcome to myvirginkitchen.com uh, Pancake Day Special which means one thing, we are making pancakes, yes. Um, I've never made pancakes before but I've eaten many over the years so I'm going to go for the old classic lemon and sugar combination with a few currants inside currants and raisins, sorry um, yeah, that's about it um, regular views, you see that I've had my hair cut all good, you know, feeling fresh I've got myself my funky My Virgin Kitchen apron on yes, only bust that out on special occasions um, so let's have a look at the ingredients. Um, I've got this recipe written down by pencil, actually. So as you see, pancakes, and I've got the directions. They go a bit diagonal. Do you know how sometimes when you're writing and you turn your head and then you start, the writing goes along the page. I've done that, unfortunately. So as you can see, it started like that, and there, and then I've gone along like that. But never mind, I can read it just about. Um, you're gonna need uh, some sugar, some lemons, some raisins. That's uh, Phoebe's raisins. Uh, she has for snack and I actually haven't caught it too because it helped keep you regular, all good. Um, two eggs, um, that is 200 millilitres of milk in a glass and that is 75 millilitres of water. Um, 110 grams of plain flour, you're going to need some butter as well, about 50 grams of that to oil your pan. Um, so you're going to use that to sort of lubricate it, get it all nice. Um, and some couple of other bowls and a spatula and a sieve. So we're going to get started on this. It should be fun, should be easy. I'm trying to go do the toss at the end because you know everyone knows that on Pancake Day you've got to be a good tosser. So we're going to give that a good go and uh, see how we get on. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, mix my water and my egg together. So uh, let's do that. Lush. Okay, so what I'm also going to do now after that is get my plain flour and put it in a sieve and apparently you've got to do it from height. So uh, do that now. Right, so I've already put my salt in this bowl and I've got the flour on the sieve. Now, as you can see from my diagram, you might be able to see that, um, I've got a man and that's a sieve with flour. It says to do it from height um, to help air the flour. So uh, I'm going to do it pretty high up in the air like this. And sieve it. Woo! So it's kind of not nice, like brand new flour. This isn't secondhand flour anymore. Um, and there we go, that's what it looks like, all nice and neat and tidy. So that's in there, and what we're going to do now is make a well in it. I'm not talking about a wishing well where you throw coins in and all your dreams come true, just a simple well, like push a hole in the middle of the flower, like that, kind of like an earthquake or volcano kind of effect. And then what we're going to do is crack our two eggs and plonk them in the middle of the well. So I'll do that. Right, so the eggs are in there. The well kind of overflowed, unfortunately, like a well, like a lake breaking its water when it's raining too much. But anyhow, um, now what you need to do is whisk that together and gradually pour in your milk and water combination gradually until it makes a smooth, creamy texture. Okay, just to show you, um, I've added some of the flour in, well, all the flour, sorry, in, as you know, and the milk and I'm stirring it round. Um, it looks like, kind of like porridge at the moment, but that's because there's still loads of milk to go, so I'm just pouring it in as you go. There's loads of lumpy bits in it as well, but apparently that's cool. You can leave that as it is. It's just going to eventually get all smooth and creamy. So uh, keep going with that until you, all your milk's run out. Okie doke, so that's all whisked together. And as you can see, it's kind of, well, to you it probably just looks like milk. Um, but that is all smooth and, back, and like a nice lovely paste. And what I'm going to do now is grab my raisins, my tubs of raisins and uh, put them in there and stir it around and the other thing you got to do is get a pan and then put your 50 grams of butter on there and put it on the heat like that and you got to melt that butter up and it's kind of weird you have to melt that up and then put the, all that butter it's going to apparently it's going to lubricate the, bo uh, the, the pan as you can see it started to do it already you're going to put it in there and then put two tablespoons of that in your batter mix and then uh, use the rest in the bowl to gradually lubricate the frying pan. So as you add the pancakes, it goes like that. So uh, the, as you can see, the butter is about to melt and it is already cooking pretty quick. So we'll get that poured in there any minute now. Okay, so the butter's just finished bubbling. And what I'm going to do is put it in the bowl. And I didn't, I said two tablespoons of butter into the mix, but it's actually into the mix. Sounds like I'm a rapper into the mix. Anyway, um, yeah, see this butter 
put it in there, only two teaspoons, not two, not two tablespoons. And the rest is gonna be there for lubricant. And you can see that there's still a little bit of butter in that pan, all shiny. Um, you need to keep that pan super hot, and then we can start to add the butter mix in. So uh, I'm gonna do that now. Okay guys, let's make pancakes. My butter is sizzling away. It's well lubricated. Uh, grab your batter mix. I've got a little bit of a ladle here. Um, I'm gonna pour that in the middle of the pan. Spread my raisins about. There's not many in there, so I'm gonna add more at the end maybe. Um, first thing you do is spread it around the pan like that. So you get a nice even coverage. There we go, like that. Um, apparently, because the pan is so hot, it should only take about a minute to cook. Probably be able to see. Yeah, there you go. It's already around the edges getting there. So it should be like movable as well underneath because it's so well lubricated. Um, <clears throat> but in a minute or two, it should be able to give it a shake so that it moves. So that when we go to our tossing action, it should flip in the air and land on its side, you know, because of the lubrication underneath it giving it a huge lift. So uh, let's give that a go in a minute. My first ever pancake toss. So excited. Okay guys, here we go. Pancake is movable like that. I'm going to try and do this one handed. Here we go. Hey! I did it. Bet. Just flip the pancake. Right, there we go. So it's all brown on that side. Uh, cook it for another minute on that side and then you can plate it up and add all your funky stuff on it. Getting a little bit carried away with the uh, tossing excitement here. I can't believe I just did that anyway. Um, the pancake is gonna go onto there like that and then you get to season it. So what I'm gonna do is get my lemon juice <laughs> put my lemon juice on there like that a little bit of sugar and then uh, I'm going to fold it up surely you shouldn't do it with my hands but there you go in half and then half again like a little triangle um, so I've got plenty of batter mix left as you can see there um, should make about 14 pancakes actually but there we go that's all done um, you can add golden syrup and stuff on that as well let's give it a quick try that's good so um, happy pancake day and uh, I'll see you again next time. Okay guys, this is some bonus pancake flipping footage. I'm so chuffed that I can flip a pancake. Um, so one more time, here we go. Hey, you see my action? Hey!